Hello everyone, my name is Senior Computer Man, and welcome back to another gameplay video. We haven't done one of these in a while. I haven't done a video in a while. You may notice that things are different, such as um, background, setup, I'm hairier, that kind of stuff. Now, um, Battlefield 1 just came out. Pretty cool. Decided to get it. Decided to play it for you guys. So, nothing much more to say. Let's just go in there and play the campaign. I'm gonna go normal because you already know. All right, so I don't know a lot about this game. I haven't seen any gameplay. I've been avoiding it just because of this. But I know, obviously, uh, Battlefield's going back to its roots, going back to World War One, which is amazing. Um, I just want to see how that is actually going to be, considering, like you know. If we gotten used to that futuristic touch that we get in other games like Call of Duty and whatnot, I didn't play any of the other Battlefield games. But I guess if you wanted to say this is like a good way, technically first in this in the timeline, I guess. The graphics, by the way look pretty good. I did have to tone some things down just to make it a little bit better for the computer. I mean, I have a pretty good computer, but it's still... And it can run everything. It'll just... The fans will start going hard because it'll start getting hot. And that picks up on the mic, and I don't really like that. I right, look at that detail. You cannot tell me that is not awesome. Let me just adjust my monitor here real quick. Okay. Yep, nice and smooth. Nice. Anyways. Very true, very true. That's also something, another thing I heard. You're not playing as one character throughout this thing. You're just playing as soldiers in World War One, And... Uh, how that's gonna happen with this campaign and all that? I don't know. We're surrounded. It looks interesting. We have to hold this line. All right. So right into it. No, nothing. All right. God. I don't even know where they're coming from. I don't even see anybody. Come on, come on. Reload already. Okay, getting shot at. Um, don't want to die already. Now, please bear in mind, I have not played a shooter in a long time. Um, that is just something... I don't know. It's rare for me to get games this big, this close to like when they actually release. Oh god, there's a grenade. I saw the grenade. I saw the guy throw it. Anyways, um, I never really get games around the time they get out. I always get them super late, as you guys noticed with like Tomb Raider and all that. But this one was different, and I do plan on playing Dishonored and Watch Dogs. I know I probably shouldn't say that in case I never actually do, but I I feel I feel hopeful. Maintain my position. I'm getting back a little bit, trying not to get shot at. Oh god. God, please don't let me die. Oh, Jesus, I am going to die, aren't I? Let me just hide behind this wall until I get healed. Any medics around? You know, you guys should heal me. Oh, there we go. Back to 100. Good. Oh, we should probably reload. Oh, my God, there's a grenade. As you can tell, I'm very, very good at this game. God, I'm throwing. Jesus Christ. What the heck? I'm trying to throw a grenade. <laughs> I gotta change the key bindings and all that on this. Something a little bit more comfortable. Oh god, he has a flamethrower. Now, I am a little bit of a history person. That's like one of my only favorite subjects in school. And the flamethrower was... God, oh my god. Was, it was the, This war was like the first time it was introduced, which made it like a whole big deal. 
especially when we were learning it. And there's our first death. Um, Claris Point is exactly what I was talking about. So many of us think in this war would be our rite of passage, our great adventure. Let me tell you, it was no adventure. Oh, were we supposed to die? Or I think we were. What? Oh, where's the left side? Oh, oh that's a teammate. Um, I'm pretty sure friendly fire is on, so... Hey, get out of here. Jesus Christ, this game. It's so, like, it just throws you right into everything. I mean, I like that. Don't get me wrong. I love the action. Jesus Christ. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, what? Is that a bad guy? It is indeed. How did... I don't know how to knife. I don't know how to do it. Get... Oh, that's fire. That's why I'm dying. Why? Why? Just shoot. Just shoot. I don't care about the reloading. Was that supposed to happen? I... I'm so confused. Adolph Simmons. New killing machines. Like the tank changed the shape of the war overnight. So we're gonna get a little bit of the story each time we die, because boy, are we gonna get through this story? Are these ours? What the heck? This is insane. I mean, I like this. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm gonna say a lot about this. Where do I shoot? Keep going, driver. Obviously. That's our fly boys up there. Keep your eyes on the ground, sir. Those guys are mine. They're moving in from the trenches. There they are. Shoot that machine gun. Mow them down. Yes. Okay. Oh, we got infinite ammo for that. That's cool. That's cool. You know, I have played World at War, Call of Duty World at War, and this kind of reminds me of that. Like, I know that it's not the. Is this the same time period? It's, it's been a while. Yeah, I don't care that he was dying. I'm not merciful. It's the only way we're gonna win this. Oh, there is a cooldown. That's... Ooh, that'll be the death of me. Just you wait. I don't like this. I, and to be honest, I don't like not being able to move around and about. I mean, I suck, so maybe this is a good thing. But, hey, hey God. You know, I like to say stunning graphics and all, but I can't see much here. I'm pretty sure you can hear my computer just going crazy over there. Even on these settings. I didn't put everything low, but... Because I wanted you guys to see every like all the textures and stuff really good. That, that wasn't my fault, and that's a fact. You guys can check it right there. You know, when I started up the game, it did say you are not expected to win. The, you're not expected to live. And I think that's, is that my teammate? I can't even tell. And I think that's pretty amazing. Like, it's such an insane war that you're expected to die. I mean, I know it's a game and all, but just think about that. Like, I'm pretty sure World War One was the war with the most deaths in it something like that uh don't quote me on that i, I did say i like history and all i didn't say i was i was you know good at at it and all that oh god this vision i mean they definitely know how to like crap i hate the pyromaniacs jesus 
they know how to like get you involved with everything like they give you different guns and stuff because when you die you're obviously not everyone's gonna have the same gun so it's a good way to like help you learn oh i don't like the single shot i mean it's good a one shot kill right there if you can use it right where's the guy where's the guy? where is he oh shoot grenade Does the fire just automatically kill you, even if you run away from it? Because it seems to be slowing you down. I'm pretty sure this is one, like, you gotta shoot from the back. There it is. That's how you do it. This is insanity. This is what that is. I don't know how long... It's gonna take me to do this. Oh god, I didn't know that was a single shot. No, I did not want this. I could have easily died there. <laughs> running away, running away, running away because I will die. Oh dear. I wonder how far someone's gotten without actually dying. Now I'm I'm awful, I know. So probably someone's gotten farther than me. Um, Douglas Williams, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry to all these people that I've killed. By the end of this, there'll probably be more deaths like than there were in the actual war. In all honesty. Oh God. Fight this back. Alright. Also not my fault. You gotta you gotta look at that. That was also not my fault. It might be like after a certain number of people you kill, it'll start the story, like doing all this cinematic stuff. That would make sense to keep it going. They push. We push. Every once in a while. We push hard enough that the light breaks through the cloud. It's in a world beyond the war glimmers. Just out of reach. The war is the world. And the world is the war. But behind every gun sight is a human being. We are those people. We are the jaded, we are the naive, we are the honorable, and the criminal. We are the bound for legend, and the lost to history. We are the knights of the sky, the ghosts in the desert, and the rats in the mud. These are our stories. I'm excited for the rest of this game. I'm excited for when we get on horses. I just saw that. And it was also in the trailer. I'm excited for that. Codex entry unlocked African American troops. Or trooper. It was something like that. As the old empires struggled to assert themselves, the entire world was caught in an inevitable cataclysm. The war covered the globe. Old empires and new worlds, old ways and new ideas, all of mankind fought. A hundred big ideas marched off into the war to end all wars. It was consuming us all, and there was no end in sight. Wow, so we gotta get through these, then those, then those, then those, then those. All right. Uh, we're obviously going to go one, two, three, four in order, but I am going to cut that episode there because i got to see, you know, got to put a little bit of time. Make sure to subscribe and like. Um, really helps a lot, and you will be able to see the next episode of this. So, if you want to see what happens next, make sure to subscribe. You'll be the first to know. Put that notification on, and 
see you guys in the next one.